Hi friends, welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Angelica and I am the owner of Love Letters to My Love. I mainly paint in watercolor, but in today's video we are going to paint shoes, canvas shoes actually. So we are going to use fabric paint. This is my first time painting shoes. I went to Michael's the other day and I bought some fabric paint and I painted this super cute little pouch just to test out my, um, my painting skills and I think it came out really cute. If you guys stay until the end of the video, I have a little surprise for you guys. So get really excited. I mean, you can always scroll all the way to the end to see it, but why not just go through a little bit of painting and then you can watch the surprise. Also, if you have any questions about the process or the materials, please leave me a comment on the box below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, all that good stuff. So let's jump right in. Okay, so I am going to give you an overview of all the materials that I'm going to use. So that's a plate that I just got from the kitchen. So it, this is a water-based paint so you can use any plate and then wash it and then it'll be fine and just some water and this paint is from a place called fabric creations soft fabric ink i am going to put all the materials that in the description below but i am using i am using a blue a green a an orange and a pink now just some basking tape just to cover the soles of the shoes or like around in the plastic and I am going to use these two acrylic brushes that I also find found at Michael's. They're very inexpensive. I think they were like six dollars each maybe. Um, they're acrylic and they are for acrylics but they work great with this. And of course the shoes, I got them on Amazon and they're not fancy at all but the better cotton you get the better the paint will react so just that keep that in mind I am now just clearing out the space so I can prep the shoes of course this looks like a very obvious step but you know I just thought of emphasizing that you have to delace the shoes so just so you have a clear space to work with So after delacing the shoes, I am putting tape around the soles just so I can protect them from the paint. But remember that this is a water-based paint. So if you mess up or you know you you run over, you can just wipe it with water, it'll go away. So you could technically skip this step. I only found this out after I did the first shoe. So we're just gonna skip right it right over it. But if you do decide to tape the soles of the shoes because you're using acrylic paints and those are permanent, then make sure you go all the way to the edge of the trim of the shoe and that should be fine. Now what I'm doing is using plastic bags to stuff the inside of the shoe for the shoe to be more like sturdy on the inside and it'll give me better like grip when I'm painting. So that's all I'm doing in this step. Now we are just going to prep the paints. So I am going to prep the paints as if I was prepping paints for acrylic. So just put them on your plate on separate corners or with enough space for blending and that should be fine. Now I'm adding some water to dilute the paint a little bit, but be careful not to add too much water because it's going to then bleed too much into the fabric of the shoe or the fabric. So I'm just blending like as if I was doing acrylics but i am making sure that it's not very it's not watery it just needs to be kind of thick so just keep that in mind now for the next step i'm just doing a little bit of a trial of the flower shapes that i'm going to draw and i'm just going to like 
kind of vision envision the flower that I'm going to paint on the fabric. This is just a plain piece of paper and I'm just practicing my flowers before I actually paint on the fabric. Okay, so now looking at the shoe and the area, I think I'm going to paint like the bigger flowers in the area where I have like more square footage, you know, like more area of fabric uninterrupted. That's where I'm going to focus on the big flowers and um, then the rest I will do leaves to fill in basically. Okay, so at this point I'm just gonna go ahead and start painting, kind of repeating the same process I did on the paper and I hope you guys like the process.
Okay, so now we are going to use a fabric marker. I also got this one at Michael's in the same section where I got the paints. So I'm going to be using this one for the details of all the flowers. One thing that I did notice when applying the marker is that the marker will bleed where paint hasn't touched the fabric, the, the canvas. So it works a lot better in the areas where the paint has already dried and it just looks kind of like it, it spreads when it hits the white part of the untouched canvas. So just keep that in mind, just try to stay within the painted areas.
So now we are super done, finished with all the details and we are ready to seal the shoe. So I'll show you guys in the next step how to seal the shoe. So we have to do this part outside or in a place where it's like very well ventilated. I got this at Michael's as well. In one of the videos that I researched, this is what they use. So I am going to use the same thing. So what is going to happen is we're going to spray around the shoe in all the areas that we painted. And we're going to do this step three times with a five minute break in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray it, wait five minutes, and then do it two more times. And that'll be done. So I hope you guys enjoy this process of painting with fabric. And again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the box below. Now the surprise that we've all been waiting for. For today's video, I have a little bit of a giveaway. I am actually going to be giving away this little pouch. You can put like the makeup or you can put like a little journal and little like pens or something and like carry it around. I mean, I just think it's super cute and you can use it for anything. I want to say more like makeup and stuff. All you have to do is be a subscriber, leave a comment, and like this video. That's all you have to do. Super simple, right? So I will announce the winner before next week's post. So remember, I am posting every Wednesday and every Sunday. So best of luck, friends, and I'll see you guys next week.